Today's morning devotional. The body is to be servant of the mind. A sound mind in a sound body. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Every organ of the body was made to be servant of the mind. The brain is the capital of the body, the seat of all the nervous forces and of mental action. The nerves proceeding from the brain control the body. By the brain nerves, mental impressions are conveyed to all the nerves of the body as by telegraph wires, and they control the vital action of every part of the system. All the organs of motion are governed by the communications they receive from the brain. The brain nerves which communicate with the entire system are the only medium through which heaven can communicate with man and affect his inmost life. Whatever disturbs the circulation of the electric currents in the nervous system lessens the strength of the vital powers, and the result is a deadening of the sensibilities of the mind. Any part of the body that is not treated with consideration will telegraph its injury to the brain. It is not only the privilege, but the sacred duty, of all to understand the laws God has established in their beings. And as they more fully understand the human body, they will seek to bring their bodies into subjection to the noble powers of the mind. The body will be regarded by them as a wonderful structure, formed by the infinite designer, and given in their charge to keep this harp of a thousand strings in harmonious action. To make a success of Christian life, the development of sound minds and sound bodies is of the greatest importance. The harmonious, healthy action of all the powers of body and mind results in happiness, the more elevated and refined the powers, the more pure and unalloyed the happiness.